Member for Sandwich and North Island Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This government has been keeping the public in the dark about the costs and the public safety risks of Site C. The Premier has known since at least January, and probably much earlier, about the significant geotechnical problems at Site C. And yet it wasn't until the end of July, seven months later, that he chose to come clean with the public about the massive problems facing this dam and that project. My question, Mr. Speaker, is to the Premier. Will the Premier inform this House when he and his ministers in the Cabinet first learned about the very serious issues facing Site C, and can he explain why he chose not to inform the public or take any action until the middle of this past summer? Minister for Energy Mines. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank the member for the question. Um, it's, uh, when, and when discussing Site C, it's important to uh, reflect back on the genesis of this project and uh, remember that uh, the old government, the Liberal government, set out to push this project forward past what the Premier, then Premier, Premier Clark, described as the point of no return. They refused to let the BCUC, the independent watchdog, uh, uh, examine the project. They signed off on a design that includes geological risks, and they spent uh, billions of dollars without proper oversight in pushing the project forward. Clearly, uh, there were cost pressures on the project, but uh, the government has been managing them. Uh, COVID uh, created unforeseen challenges for the project, and uh, we are now facing geotechnical challenges in the design that the old government approved. Uh, as a result of that, uh, I asked and brought on Peter Milburn, a former deputy minister, uh, to the member for uh, Abbotsford West as a special advisor. He has been playing a major role in examining the project. Uh, he will provide me and our government with independent advice and a fresh perspective. Um, I'm expecting that report uh, shortly, uh, and uh, we will uh, go from there. I don't really want to prejudge the results of his review. Member for Saanich North and, uh, and Islands for supplemental. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I think it's important to note that this uh, is not just a Liberal project at its genesis. This is an NDP project, as they picked it up and have been carrying the water on this for the last three and a half years. And also, I think it's important to point out that I did not ask a question about the project. I asked a question about what the Premier knew and when he knew it. I'm not sure why that minister stood up and answered the question, or answered the question. The government uh, has known about the project risk and the significant geotechnical problems for a very long time. Yet the Premier and his Cabinet have kept this information from the public, racing ahead with construction even during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's reckless in the extreme that instead of pausing the project, this government is barreling ahead, even diverting a river in the middle of an election. Still, we have no answers about the public safety, no answers about the stability of the dam site, no answers about when the final cost will be, and the Premier won't stand up and ask a question about what he knew and when he knew it. My question again, Mr. Speaker, is to the Premier. Why has the Premier allowed BC Hydro to go full speed ahead on construction this year, even diverting the river to begin construction of this earth-filled dam, while keeping British Columbians in the dark about the serious risks facing this project? Minister of Energy, Mines and Low Carbon Innovation. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. It's disappointing to hear uh, this member uh, spread information. BC Hydro has been clear. It wasn't until December 2019 that engineers confirmed the significant foundation challenges associated with the right bank. In January 2020, further analysis on the foundation and potential enhancements was initiated and this work uh, continued in, in the, into the spring. That's one of the items on which we'll expect further comment from uh, Mr. Milburn. Leader of third party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And I'll say what is disappointing is that uh, the NDP government won't actually stand up and give accurate information to the public or to this House on this project. And this is really starting to look like a cover-up 
when the Premier won't even stand up and answer the question posed to him by my colleague from Sandwich North in the island, there is a shocking amount of secrecy around Site C. This is the single most expensive infrastructure project in BC's history, and the Premier is deliberately keeping the public in the dark while spending $3 million per day continuing construction. This is public money, Mr. Speaker, and people have a right to far more transparency and accountability on this project than they are getting. My question, Honourable Speaker, is to the Premier. Will the Premier commit to releasing the full, unedited, unredacted Milburn report and the terms of reference, as well as the reports from the Technical Advisory Committee, all Site C Project Assurance Board records, and all reports from the Site C Independent Engineer? Minister of Energy, Mines and Low Carbon Innovation. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I, as I mentioned, I brought on Mr. Milburn, uh, who's a, a, a professional engineer and a former deputy minister. He has been examining uh, the project, playing a very important role. And it's because we take this situation very seriously that he has been brought on and he will provide advice. He will give uh, myself and our government independent advice and a fresh perspective. I, I'm not in a position to, uh, to prejudge the results of his review uh, and therefore not able to answer uh, some of the detail in the member's questions. Do you drop third party on supplemental? Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And my colleague and I have asked a series of questions of government today about the single largest infrastructure project in BC's history, and we have not received a single straightforward answer. We've seen in this question period uh, what is rem reminiscent of what we have seen around Site C for the last three years. Few answers, very little information, no transparency from this government. Peter Milburn's appointment is an exercise that appears to serve as political cover for this government to avoid answering questions for anything else. Milburn doesn't have the right technical expertise to even recommend a fix to the site. And he is, like every other expert that this government brings forward, far from independent from this project. My question through you, Honourable Speaker, is to the Premier. Will he finally do the right thing, suspend construction at this dam, and, at this dam, and appoint an independent panel of actually internationally recognized experts to undertake a review to see if this project can be built safely and at what cost. Minister of Energy Mines and Low Carbon Innovation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have uh, full confidence in uh, Mr. Milburn and uh, I don't share the view that's expressed of uh, his uh, expertise and his quali qualifications. And I'm looking forward uh, to the report and the advice that he will provide uh, to myself and to the government. And, uh, and I think it will be very helpful in assessing the path forward for this project.